Hey guys. <laughs> well, this is take two. Um, my first video was like 20 minutes long. So um, I think that was more of a Blake devotion. <laughs> this is a little bit too long. So um, I am going to redo it and y'all will be glad because I probably will not be crying as much in this video as I was in the first one. Um, I have my composure now. Uh, but today I am like uh, what Michael did last week. I am just going to speak from my heart and I am going to tell you how good God is through all of the craziness that we have going on right now. Um, back in December, um, I was not in a good place. Um, I was going back to waters that I had charted before and I knew I needed to make a big change. Um, Jesus was my savior, but was he Lord of my life, Lord of all my life. So I knew I needed to make a big change. Um, my marriage was, <laughs> well, let's just say we had more bad days than we had good days. And the more I prayed about my marriage, some days it would just, I just felt like God wasn't there. Um, I felt like I was all alone. Um, and I really struggled with that. It was taking effect on a lot of area, other areas of my life. Um, I wasn't happy at my job. I've been at my job for going on 18 years. Um, excuse me, there's the wasp. Um, go away. So I, I just, I was bored, I was burned out, and I also um, said yes to too many things in 2019, and I was tired. Um, it had taken me away from Paul, it had taken me away from my home. Um, I enjoyed being out and about more than I liked being at home. Um, so I really knew that I needed to make some big changes. Uh, to, uh, start of 2020, uh, everything was you know, going okay. You know, again, um, struggled with some things, still struggled in my marriage. You know, I just felt like the more I prayed about stuff, just never felt like he was listening. And then March 23rd came and the pandemic and the shelter in place and being an extrovert, I was now going to have to enjoy being an introvert and being at home. And the only person I saw was Paul and I went to the grocery store. Paul in the grocery store. Paul continued to work um, for the city of Plano. So he, he would go in, um, I was working from home um, and then all of a sudden, God started answering my prayers. Um, my marriage got better. We were relying only on each other. Um, saw each other almost, not 24-7, but close to it. Um, Paul is now my best friend. Um, he's the one I know I can count on. And the craziness is through all of this craziness, God answered that one prayer for me. It's amazing. Um, and he also made me appreciate my job better. I mean, I was sitting there the other day thinking, wow, I'm so thankful for my job. I'm so thankful for it. God has given me um, something that I didn't appreciate before. I now appreciate tenfold what I did before. Um, I enjoy being home now. I actually, I love being home more now, more than ever. Um, I think it's my uh, my comfort place, my shelter um, to get away from all of this craziness. And um, 
my marriage is better than it's ever been before. And God has answered that. And we all know God answers our prayers, sometimes not the way we want him to answer them. So I just wanted to share the goodness of God through my heart and some verses that I've really been meditating on um, lately. Um, of course, is Romans 8, 28. Um, we all know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, those who are called according to his purpose. Um, for the good of God. God knew what I what I needed, but at the time, it wasn't the right timing for him, and, and that's what I appreciate, that I can look through all this craziness and, and see good in it, see, I mean, sometimes I can't even speak because it's, it's, it's awe and it's amazing how good he is. Um, also, Micah 6, 8. Um, let's see. Mankind, he has told you what is good and what it is the Lord requires of you to act justly, to love faithfulness, and to walk humbly with your God. And through this, um, I pray right now through all this craziness that that I will have the grace that God has for people um, with the division and the and the not being um, united. I pray that every day I pray that I will walk like Jesus, that I will have the vision that he had, that he saw the good in people. And if I can change just one life, just one, I know we all sometimes have this grander vision of, you know, saving all the, the starving children in Africa or or feeding a hundred homeless people in, in downtown Dallas. But you know what? Like Michael said last week, it's just simple. It's just if you could change one person's life, just one. That's all that matters. And so today, I just want all of us to find the good in all this craziness in our lives. Um, lately, I've been sometimes in the morning, but I really like trying to do it in the evening, about 9 o'clock. Writing down three things that I'm grateful for from the day. And you would be amazed how many things that you can be grateful for. And these are simple things, like being able to grip a cup of coffee in the morning and sit on, your, on the patio. Some people can't even do that. So just, I urge all of you just to start having a grateful journal or just, you know, the next couple of days through the holidays, um, just write down what you're grateful for. And I thank y'all for being my brothers and sisters in Christ. I thank all of y'all for loving me. Um, and I pray more now than I ever have before. I'm closer to God now than I was. And God has answered that prayer. So I'll close this out and I will say a short prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this opportunity to, to talk to my brothers and sisters in Christ. I can't see them. I can't hug them. And that's hard and that's sad, Lord. But I know everything has a reason. And you are still with us, Lord. You are the God of the universe. You are the God of this country. You are the God of me. You are the God of my friends, and my brothers in Christ. You are the same God that created the universe, the same God that gave a stone and a sling to David to kill Goliath. And you are the same God that brought your son to this earth to die for our sins, our ugly, broken sins. And Lord, just give us the opportunity now, to, to today or tomorrow or six months from now, 
to change just one person's life. I love you, I love you, I love you, Lord. Thank you for being my Savior, but more important, thank you for being Lord of my life. In your heavenly name I pray, amen. Thanks, guys. Love you.